Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 applied paper. Here we're looking at the second mechanics question, so question 7 for this paper. A particle P moves with constant acceleration 2 minus 3j, 2i minus 3j. At time t equals 0, the particle is at point A and is moving with velocity minus i plus 4j. At time t equals t seconds, P is moving in the direction of vector 3i minus 4j. Now that's not its final velocity, it's just the final direction of its velocity. Find the value of t. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a v equals u plus a t formula. We have acceleration, we have initial velocity, and we have a final direction of the velocity, so we can somehow combine these uh, together. So the final direction of the velocity is going to be 3 minus 4, but that's just its direction, so it's going to be some factor times that direction. So that's the direction it's traveling in, but we don't know what its velocity is, so it might be, it's probably going to be some scale factor of this vector. Moving on to the u parts, what's the initial velocity going to be? A point A is traveling in the direction, so with velocity minus 1, 4. I'm just writing them as column vectors, it's sometimes a bit easier. Uh, acceleration is going to be 2 minus 3, and it's going to have done that for t seconds, capital T seconds. So, let's rearrange these into, three, into two separate formulas. 3 lambda equals minus 1 plus 2t, and minus 4 lambda equals 4 minus 3t. Now hopefully it makes sense why we need this lambda in here. We need the lambda in here because the question just says at time t, p is moving in the direction of vector 3i minus 4j, so it could be 6i minus 8j, or 9i minus 12j, or some scale factor of this vector here. So the scale factor is potentially what we might need to work out, but t is really what we want to work out, definitely. So, um, in the first one, I can tell you that lambda is equal to minus 1 plus 2t divided by 3. And in the second one, I can tell you that lambda is equal to 4 minus 3t over minus 4. So, given that these two things, lambda must equal lambda, I can say that minus 1 plus 2t over 3 equals 4 minus 3t over minus 4. Let's multiply both of those numbers up to the other side, so it's going to be 4 minus 8t equals 12 minus 9t. So I'm going to add the 9t onto the other side, and that will give me t. Subtract the 4 onto the other side, and I'll get 8. So there we are, t equals 8 for the answer to that question there. And moving on to part b, then at time t equals 4 seconds, uh, p is at point b. Find the distance a, b. So it looks like we're trying to find a distance here. We have some initial speeds, we have some uh, times. So I think we're going to use here s equals ut plus half a t squared. So this is going to be s equals, uh, the initial velocity is going to be uh, minus 1, 4. That's going to be multiplied by 4 seconds. Add a half of 2 minus 3, and that's going to be multiplied by 16. So let's work this out. It's going to be s equals minus 4, 16, if I multiply all of that stuff together, and then let's multiply all of this stuff together now, so that's going to be 8 times the vector, so it's going to be 8 minus, um, sorry, no, it's 16 minus 24. So let's add these two together, so it's going to be uh, 12 and minus 8, but it wants us to work out the distance a, b, so that is a magnitude, so therefore the distance, at the moment this is the position vector um, at point b, so the distance to point b, given that point a is at the um, origin we assume, or distance from a, b, yeah, so it's distance from a, b, so it's going to be the square root of 12 squared plus 8 squared minus 8 squared, but it's going to be positive anyway which gives you an answer of 14.4 metres. 
And there we are, that's the answer for question two there, with a total of eight marks, four for each of these different parts here. Let's now move on to the third mechanics question.